Hello students, welcome to U Maths class. I hope you all are eager to learn new concept with me. Let's learn today transversal and angles made by transversal. A line that intersects two or more lines lying in same plane in distinct points is called transversal of those lines. Look at this on screen figure. Here line Z is intersecting line X and line Y at two distinct points that's why line Z is a transversal. Transversal Z forms eight different angles with line X and line Y. Let's discuss them one by one angles formed by transversal. Angles present in the inner side of two lines are called interior angles. Here angle 3, angle 4, angle 5 and angle 6 are interior angles. Similarly angles present in the outer side of two lines are called exterior angles. Here, angle 1, angle 2, angle 7 and angle 8 are exterior angles. In this, angle 3 and angle 6 are interior angles but are on the same side of the transversal. Similarly, angle 4 and angle 5 are also interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So, we say that these are pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal. We know that these are interior angles. In this angle 4 and angle 6 have different vertices. Both are present on inner side of the transversal and they are on opposite side of the transversal. Such type of angles are called alternate interior angles. Can you identify the other pair of alternate interior angle? Yes, angle 3 and angle 5. Now let's learn about exterior angles. In this angle 2 and angle 8 have different vertices. Both are present on outer side of the transversal as well as they are on opposite sides of transversal. Such angles are called alternate exterior angles. Here Angle 1 and angle 7 are also the pair of alternate exterior angles. In this angle 2 and angle 6 have different vertices and both are present on the same side of transversal while angle 2 is exterior angle and angle 6 is interior angle. That is they are in corresponding positions. Such angles are called corresponding angles. Here angle 2 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 7, angle 4 and angle 8, angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles. We know that the two lines which never meet each other are called parallel lines. When two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, the angles formed in each pair of corresponding angles are congruent. Alternate angles are congruent and interior angles are supplementary. Therefore, to check that two lines are parallel or not, we should check for these properties. If a transversal intersect two lines so that each pairs of corresponding angles are congruent then the lines are parallel. Similarly, if each pair of interior angles are congruent then the lines are parallel. If each pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary then the lines are parallel. I am sure you must have understood the concept very well. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, then don't forget to hit the like button. To get instant updates, subscribe my YouTube channel UMaths. If you have any question, leave a comment and I will answer you back as early as possible. I will be back with some more new concepts, new videos. 
स्टे ट्यून्ड विथ यू मैथ्स